Let's take a look at creating object duplicates or clones. There are a number of ways to duplicate objects, but the easiest is by using the transform tools. To clone an object, hold the shift key before moving, rotating, or scaling. For example, select this fuel drum. Hold down shift and then move the fuel drum. As soon as you release the shift key, a clone options dialog appears. Note that objects are automatically renamed based on the original object's name and incremental numbers. You can create a number of duplicates, with each subsequent one offset by the same distance, angle, or scale factor. For example, if you specify three duplicates and click on OK, this is the end result. Let's undo that. Duplicate this crate by using Shift Move. It's important that you define the type of clone you wish to create. This movie concentrates on the first two types, copy and instance. Notice that copy is the default type. A copy is a completely independent object from the original. At the time of creation, the two are identical, but after that, you can modify either one without affecting the other. For example, if you select the original crate, go to the Modify panel, change the height, Select the second crate and change its width. Notice that a change on one does not affect the other. Press Ctrl Z to undo all that. On the other hand, when you clone one of the crates as an instance, you create a two-way relationship between the original and the clone. So a change you make to one is reflected on the other. Notice how the object type in the Modify panel displays in bold. That indicates that this is an instanced object and that it will affect or be affected by another object. A change to the original crate now affects the instance, and a change to the instance affects the original. Using instances makes sense when objects in a scene are meant to behave the same way, such as identical chairs in a cafeteria or identical tanks in a war game. Notice that instances can still be moved, rotated, or scaled separately and you can therefore animate these transforms differently between one instanced clone and another. It is the shape and form between instances that are linked together. The rationale, of course, is that if you already have 50 instances of the same object in a scene and decide to make a change, you only need to change any one of the instances and the remaining 49 update automatically. Many other things can be instanced in 3ds Max, such as lights and materials. It's a very powerful tool.